Hello everybody, it's that time of day again. It's story time. I got my frumpy reading sweater on. Let's see what I got to drink today. Mmm. Cup of coffee. Now we need a book. Hold on a moment, I'll get a book. Okay, I got a book. Need some reading glasses here. And today's story is called Woe is Mo by Diane Stanley. Mo worked at the Frozen Cow Ice Cream Factory. So did his best friend Arlene. They hated it there. Frozen Cow was probably the worst ice cream ever made. Even the artificial ingredients weren't real. The only good part was that Mo and Arlene could work together. And every Friday, they would celebrate the end of the week at Mr. Chang's Happy All Chinese Restaurant. They always sat at the same table. They always ordered the same things. Wonton soup, steamed dumplings, and cold noodles with Hunan sauce. One Friday, Mo asked Arlene if she had entered the slogan contest at the factory. No. Arlene said, I heard a rumor that the prize was a gallon of frozen ice cream. Gosh, I hope not, said Mo. I was hoping I'd win. He opened his fortune cookie. Hey, listen to this. Great changes will take place in your life. What do you suppose will happen? Whatever it is, said Arlene, it's bound to be good, isn't it? After dinner, as usual, they went to the Roxy to take in a movie. When the movie was over, Mo and Arlene headed for the park. The sky was filled with stars. They stopped at their favorite bench to admire them. Look, said Mo, a falling star. Make a wish. Arlene thought for a little while. I wish, she said at last, that we could always be as happy as we are right now. Of course we will, said Mo. On Monday, Mo hurried to work. That was the day he would find out if he had won the contest. At about 10 o'clock, Mo was called to the boss's office. He didn't come back. Arlene was worried. At last, the whistle blew and everyone could go home. Arlene grabbed her purse and her lunchbox and ran for the door. Mo was there waiting for her. She was so glad to see him. She gave him a big hug. What happened, she cried. I won the contest, he said proudly. I can't talk now, but I have big news. I'll tell you all, all about it tonight. And he hurried off. Meet me at that new place at six. Mo had reserved the best table at a fancy restaurant. Arlene felt underdressed. After they ordered, Mo told her what had happened. I have a new job. The boss thought my slogan was so original that he decided to make me vice president in charge of advertising. Just think of it. I'll be rich. I'll have a limousine and a big office. Important people will want to know me. Gosh, said Arlene softly. Arlene didn't see Mo all week. She missed him. Finally, he called. There was a lot of static on the line. Mo, where are you calling from? My car phone, he said. Hold on. We're heading into a tunnel. Arlene, are you still there? Sorry about that. Hey, guess what? I'm moving uptown. I got a penthouse with a river view. Great, Mo, Arlene shouted over the static. Wait till you see all my new stuff. Great, Mo. Hey, gotta go. Catch you later. He hung up. <sighs> Great, Mo, Arlene whispered. Months passed and Arlene didn't hear a word from Mo. When her birthday rolled around, she called him to invite him to her party. This is Mo, said the voice at the other end of the line. Hi, Mo, said Arlene, but Mo went right on talking. I'm away on important business, so I can't take your call right now. If you're calling about just say yes to frozen cow campaign, press one now. If you're calling to request an interview, press two now. If you wish to speak to an operator, Arlene hung up and had a good cry. 
Mo changed. Mo was in Paris trying to sell frozen cow to the French. This was difficult because if there's one thing the French care about, it's food. They know bad ice cream when they taste it. Mo went to lots of parties. He started wearing sunglasses even at night because that was what cool people did. Unfortunately, the glasses made it hard for him to see and he fell into fountains from time to time. The people he met were rich and beautiful. They were also bored and miserable. Mo fit right in. He was relieved when Frozen Cow gave up on the French and let him go home. When he came back to his penthouse, Mo found a Happy All takeout menu, which had been slipped under the door. Mo sat down in his designer chair and looked at his river view. He felt very, very lonely and very, very tired. He picked up the phone and dialed. I'd like an order of wonton soup, some steamed dumplings, and cold noodles with Hunan sauce, Mo said. Is this Mo? asked Mr. Chen. Yes, yes it is, said Mo. You sound terrible, said Mr. Chang. I feel terrible, said Mo. Long hours, smoke-filled rooms, jet lag, loneliness. Stay right where you are, said Mr. Chang. My new chef has just what you need. After a while, Mo's doorbell rang. Chicken soup, said the delivery person. Chinese style. Mo ate the soup gratefully. It made him feel better. The dumplings and the noodles were just as he remembered them. While he drank his tea, he opened his fortune cookie. It read, For the answer to your problems, find out what's playing at the movies. How mysterious, thought Mo. He headed for the Roxy. When he got to the theater, the woman behind the ticket counter called him over. You must be Mo, she said. I have a package for you. It was a little bag and inside was another fortune cookie. To be happy, go to your favorite bench in the park, it said. Mo certainly had a favorite bench, so off he went. It was a lovely cool night. Mo looked up and saw that the sky was filled with stars. They made him think of Arlene. He missed her very much. When he got to their special bench, he found a paper bag sitting on it. More and more mysterious, he thought. It held yet another fortune cookie. Where you find the best noodles, you will also find happiness. That could only be one place. Mo hurried to Happy All. Mr. Chang met him at the door. Mo, he said, long time no see. Come in and meet my new chef. She bakes the best fortune cookies in town. He led Mo over to his old table. There sat Arlene. Mo's jaw dropped. So it was you, he said. Yes, Mo, it was me. And I baked you one last cookie. Here, read it. Mo broke it open and took out the little slip of paper. I will always be your best friend, he read. Arlene smiled. I'll always be your best friend too, she said. And gave Mo a great big hug. The end. Well, I'm glad the two of them got together again. Well, that's the end of the story. You have yourself a great day. You take care of one another. Take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.